Indiana lawmakers are moving forward with a bill that would require schools to investigate all reports of bullying, and they would have to notify parents of the students involved. State House reporter Kristen Escott shows us what students could shows us that students could be transferred to other schools in severe cases. Students feel like there's no way out. Democratic State Representative Vernon Smith says he's been troubled by the rising suicide rates among teenagers nationwide. He wants to strengthen the state laws regarding bullying after hearing stories from boys he mentors. They're concerned about the lack of response when they, when they share a situation. And then when they decide to take it in their own hands, then they're in trouble. Smith has proposed a bill for several years that received a committee hearing for the first time this session. It would require schools to investigate all reports of bullying. Parents of the victim must be notified within three business days of the report and parents of the alleged bully within five business days. If the report is severe and found to be true, the victim can request themselves or the bully be transferred to another school in the district. Smith believes that would be a strong deterrent. If you do it, you're going to get kicked out of school. You're leaving your friends. Both the Indiana PTA and the Indiana State Teachers Association testified in support of the bill in committee. Some school officials say they're also supportive. I think it's important for parents to understand that they are part of the solution. Mike Johnson is the director of school safety for Hamilton Southeastern Schools. He says he supports several aspects of the bill and says his district meets some of its requirements already. But he suggests lawmakers include additional remedies in the legislation aside from a student changing schools. Now you may uh, deal with schedules, um, you know, being being adjusted. Um, you may deal with uh, just some uh, counseling. Sometimes it's not as easy as just plugging them into another building because now you have the whole the whole issue of transportation. From the Indiana State House, I'm Kristen Escal. Now, the bill passed in the House this afternoon with almost unanimous support and now heads to the Senate for consideration.